Refractometers are a piece of test equipment that we use to determine the solution strength of the sulfuric acid in a lead acid battery and the freezing point of glycol in a solar thermal system. So we're going to create a video here and a little lesson on using this MISCO glycol and battery tester to determine how good our batteries and how good our glycol is in our existing systems. A refractometer uses light to travel through a fluid and as that light travels through that fluid, that small amount of fluid will actually cause that light to slow down and bend. And as we measure the deflection of that bend, we can then tell the relative strength of the glycol in a system and the amount of charge in the sulfuric acid in a lead acid battery. Here's the real simple steps that we need to do. The very first thing that you need to realize is that inside of our refractometer is the prism and some other lenses. So you want to be very gentle with the piece of equipment. Obviously that's true for any piece of equipment, but this is a little more so because if we were to bend or cause that lens to deflect in any shape, way, or form, it will skew the results. So the very first thing that we do is we will lift open the viewfinder and the illuminator. So the viewpoint and the illuminator on the right hand side of this bottom point of the image that you see, we lift that up and you'll see that there's a very small, and I'll use my mouse to move it, there's a small small little slide right there that we can put a drip of fluid on. So in this case we're going to take this plastic stir stick and put a drip of water on there. We're going to shut the viewfinder and then what we're going to do is we're going to put through the eyepiece and once we look through that eyepiece the eyepiece is going to look through the scale that's mounted right here. We're going to go through this bis metal strip through the objective lenses through the compensating lenses and out to the outside light that's coming in and shining. And then what we're going to do is we're going to look to see where this black line, the darker line, goes across, and that will tell us the reading. So the very first thing that we want to do is, like I said, we want to put water on there. And if preferred, we want to try to use some reverse osmosis, some deionized water, just a very clean sample of water, put it on there, shut that viewfinder, and take a look. And that angle should deflect that light up, and we should see it right near 0 degrees Celsius, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And that will tell us that our device is actually calibrated. If it's not calibrated, we're going to have to go and do some other steps later on to get that corrected. But most of the time, we're not going to have a problem with that. So once we see that we have 0, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, we know that this unit is working properly. We lift the viewpoint. We take a nice, clean tissue paper. We wipe off that fluid that's on there. And then we're going to make our measurements, say, of the battery. And so that's what we're going to do next.